On the surface, the dispute is about this memorial in Preshevo. It commemorates 27 ethnic Albanians killed fighting the Serbs. On its fate hangs a fragile peace. To almost everyone in Preshevo, over 90% ethnic Albanian Muslims, those commemorated died fighting for freedom from Serb domination. To the Serbian government in Belgrade, however, they were terrorists. The memorial itself, says the Prime Minister Ivica Dacic, a provocation that must be removed. There are 20 monuments like this one in southern Serbia, but they are by roads or in cemeteries. This one is right in front of a municipal building and it is illegal. The state of Serbia has to respond to this. Grita Osmani fought with those who died, one of them, her cousin, his name, one of those etched in marble. This monument means a lot to us. We feel closer to those who died. It helps us remember our heroes. This row has awakened dangerous old hatreds. It's a symptom of deeper, unresolved fault lines. The fact is, this part of southern Serbia is ethnically Albanian, and the people here don't want to be part of Serbia, they want to be part of Kosovo, a few miles in that direction. When Kosovo broke away from Serbia with NATO's help in 1999, people here felt abandoned. They launched a rebellion of their own. But this time, the international community did not get involved. The uprising failed. 34 Serbs were killed, including 10 civilians. Albanian fighters were granted an amnesty. A sullen peace has prevailed here and in Kosovo, a sense of unfinished business. But now wider diplomatic moves are afoot. Serb and Kosovan leaders are due to hold EU-sponsored talks in Brussels this week to try and solve the problem of Serbs still living in Kosovo and perhaps also ethnic Albanians who feel trapped in Serbia. The Albanians in Preševo don't want to be left out again. This crisis over a simple memorial is just one piece in a very complex jigsaw, but what happens to it may have serious implications. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, Preshevo.